बाले I wasn't taught how to get a job but I can remember dissecting a frog I wasn't taught how to pay tax That's but I know loads about Shakespeare's classics I was never taught how to vote they devoted that time to defining isotopes I wasn't taught how to look after my health but mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell never spent a lesson on current events Instead, I studied the old Isaac, American West. Come to the I office, was never please. taught what laws there Isaac. are. I was never. Oh shit! I I guess it's time to pause it. Finish off. Well, quickly finish off. Now put it out, and yeah. I guess yeah. Now disconnect. Make sure. Oh shit. Here we are. So this this must be the office, yeah, office. Okay, so listen. Your parent is coming to pick you up because they have to move. You two have to move to a new city. All good. So wait that side. Okay. Yeah, but he trust me to weigh that side. <laughs> May as well weigh that side for my parents. Hey, Sean. Mum sent me to pick you up. Hey, nice. Come on. Get in. This is a nice place. I know. Oh yeah. Over there, in here, yeah, in here, yeah. In here, that's me in your mom's room. And then, in here, in here, yeah. This is your room. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Here. Your dad. Look at this place. Holy crap. Look at this place. City. Hell yeah. A new city. Is that? That's your prison over there. Huh. Well, and the only thing that's keeping humanity sane right now is the internet. And you guys have to understand something is that right now everyone is okay being in quarantine because we have the internet to distract us. You guys have television to distract you. You can take this time to think they're smarter than they are, and unfortunately, they're not. Uh, it's kind of funny how, like, a lot of these celebrities, like, low-key worship saying and then now when the world needed the most kind of like the after the last time record he vanished sad sad times oh well um oh my back guys i haven't been able to go to the gym in like a month and my back is feeling it uh should we leave our money in the bank uh not really uh, if you want, I will take out most of your money. You can keep some of it. Uh, keep some of it in for, like, online purchases or, like, if you want to, you know, help with my water wells, Patreon thingy. Uh, just keep some money in the bank that you might need to, like, pay bills. Like, this has to be, like, things that you can swipe your car with. But if you have, like, a large amount of money in the bank, I can't necessarily be creative. Uh, then again, that's what I you. If anything goes down to shit, your dollar bills are not... Um, I'm pretty much done because I don't want this video to go for like six years. Um, so like I said, guys, um, if you recorded this video from beginning to end, please let me know on Twitter that you did. You can either tweet me or you can DM me. Um, if my games are closed, just tweet me and I'll DM you personally and I'll tell you what to do so that I can get the video, okay? Uh, is the internet gonna go back up? Yes, it will.
the internet and the power should definitely turn back on. This is just a temporary thing to one scare humans and scare society. But keep in mind that every time the evil Illuminati, Freemasons, whatever you want to call them, anytime they do something on a large scale such as this, this actually allows good forces to step in a lot easier. For example, everyone right now is quarantined, right? Everyone is inside their homes. That means that you guys are safe. And if there is a good force out there, two things are, this allows us to do two things. This allows them to, one, be forceful back without hurting the rest of society because you guys are all stuck inside so that we can do, they can do things without no anyone noticing, okay? It's kind of like, imagine Batman was real, okay? The rest of society would actually be very bad because if that man is on a chase or he's trying to assassinate someone that's bad, the rest of society is actually in the way. You guys could get hurt. You guys are just like, you guys, you guys can be held hostage by these evil people to like push us and get them away. And yeah, you know what I mean? It's, it's moments, where, the fact that everyone's <laughs> actually inside their house benefits both forces equally because as long as you guys the fact that you guys are in your house means that you're safe and because a lot of people are safe they cannot be used against the opposing force okay um yeah okay. excuse me uh, son that's pretty much about it because if i can talk out yeah what's up tomorrow you have school a new school seriously yes Fine, Dad. Sure. Oh, shit. Somebody is legit living on this island. I'm Max Max, and I'm Shyla, and we're... Great day today, welcome to my life movie. It is nighttime. I was gonna, was gonna vlog the rest of the process. If you watched my video, my last video, I started doing a turtle oasis slash turtle tortoise sanctuary, and we are completely done now. I mean, we might add a... bugs out here because we got lights but anyways we might add a couple little things here and there but i just wanted to show you this uh well it's not jesse it's a weight runner only issue is it's a little hard to balance i mean just having us three on it you know, just make sure you guys are in the middle well we just hit some waves here a couple other boats out we're gonna go try to check out some of these cool little islands out there see that i think there's a few boats out there look how pretty the houses are I guess it's time to go to bed. Here's your school uniform, son. Thanks.
I guess it's time to try it on. No, I'll try it on tomorrow. Oh shit, I'm gonna try it on the uniform now. Hell yeah, nice. Bye mom and dad, I'm off to do. I'm off for school. Bye son. Bye, son. Oh, uh, I guess it's time for school. I guess we we here at at the high school, a new high school. Nice. Look at this place. Hell yeah, ain't even a gym. Nice. Let me sit down on here. And watch Netflix. Spock. Smoke some weed. Don't talk, just listen. I, I have something I need to share with you. But I need to see you in person. You can meet us in 30 minutes. Yeah, the one with the good buffet. Come along. You can't trust anyone. Dear Mom, I want you to know that Coffee told me to shoot you with the taste. I didn't want to do it, but he said it was our only option. You have horrible taste in men, but he is no exception. I went with him to find the dirty cops who are after us because he is huge. Because he probably couldn't do it himself. Do not go to the police. It's for your own safety. I'll be back later. Love, Kareem. P.S. Sorry for the bad language. Now when you shot that man in his kneecap out, I felt like that was a passive aggressive move to really shoot me. Sometimes because we're carrying guns, I feel like it makes us tempted to use them, but we don't have to. We need to put these down and pick these up. Forget about the body. There's 
so much more to women than just sex. Just find somebody who's your real friend and partner. That's the jackpot. To be honest, women scare the shit out of you. I mean, where do you even start? That's a great question. You gotta just be genuine, be yourself. But also be curious. Ask them about themselves. Find out what their interests are. Right? Hey, th uh, excuse me. My friend here would like to practice with a lady. The champagne room's 150, but that does include extras. I meant practice talking with the lady. Well, you know, money talks too, sweetie. Uh, of course. Yes. And here you go. You, you accept change, right? What's your name, Shaggy? Um, Kareem, what's yours? Thursday. Well, tell me about yourself, Thursday. I was born and raised in Detroit, and I have an associate's degree in biology, and I'm studying to be a veterinarian. That's interesting. What do you do for fun? I like to jog. I'm really into CSI New York. I love to see Gary Sneeze is the best. How much money do you put? Five dollars. No, no, no. What? Did you hear anything I said? What the fuck is going on here? Hell! Thank God you're here. Listen, I have video evidence on this phone that I did not kill Joy. Also, I, I know it's impossible to believe, but Detective Watson's here.
driver's license right now. Yeah, let's go get my mom. Let's go get your mom. Yeah. Paul Rodney, oh. tell him to bring the fucking girlfriend to the steel mill.
coffee. This hits tonight. I trade my life for Kareem and Vanessa's. To the good people of Detroit, Michigan, this is James Coffee, formerly of the Detroit Metro Police Department. For the past three months, I've been dating Vanessa Manning. Her son Kareem and I have an understandably fraught relationship, but we're working on it. He sees me as a threat. It's a dynamic that happens all the time. I'm reading a book about it. I highly recommend it. I'll put a link in the comments. The point is, it was never like a kidnapper kidnapping kind of dynamic. I've come to realize that I love the two of them more than anything else in the world, and I'm about to prove it. We're requesting tactical units to the River Street Steel Mill, where a drug deal is going down tonight, orchestrated by the corrupt detective Linda Watts. It's been my honor and privilege to serve as an officer of the law these last 15 years. God, I'm not crazy. Five minutes, and then it's going to be over. Orlando, get the woman and her kid. Orlando, get your fucking head in the game. Okay, Go okay. get them and bring them outside. Okay. They're here. Get the fuck Bobby. out of the car. Orlando, this isn't 
you this is not like you at all. You don't know me, lady. I do know a mother knows. I know that you're scared. That's right, Mom. You a bitch, man. You a bitch. Shut up. I don't know shit. You just a little ass kid with little ass kid nuts. Hey, hey, hey. 